wood butchers. Yeah, shop dog showing me exactly what needs to be done. Yeah, he's got the idea. So we have uh, a bit of a problem here. It's been a pretty wet year. I threw this thing down just a little while ago um, uh, in the fall just to see if we can get across here in case it got wet. Well, it's wet. So did a little bit of a measuring. I need a, a four by four about that long. It's about five feet. Should get me pretty good. I have some scraps I know I can use. So I'm gonna go to, to my pile of wood and let's see if we can find enough to make uh, a, a nicer little bridge, a little transition uh, so that we can walk across this area and more importantly, get the mower across because this stuff grows like crazy. It's like weeds back here and make things look nicer. And when it does get uh, nice enough, I'll probably pull it up and put some rocks underneath so that I don't have to worry about it. Probably dig it out a little bit. Let's uh, go check the pile. Yep, so the shop dog knows exactly where the wood pile is. Right there. Let's go see what we got. So we've got some six by sixes, some four by fours, two by four, and some other scraps here and there. We got enough. So I'm gonna put you down for a little bit. Grab some wood, cut it up. You don't need to see me cutting up wood. Let's come up with a design. Okay, so both posts have been notched, so it'll sit on a little uh, lip I have on a six by six there. That'll keep it up out of the water and keep it from shifting and flopping out. And if I need to, I can just put a screw that way, hold it right in place. Okay, let me get the fence boards all cut up. And uh, I think we'll do uh, one little part together and see how it goes. So I have all the fence boards and I realized this is why every carpenter, every woodworker needs a 12 inch miter saw. It's because A, I can do it in all one shot and just line them up and make it one mark instead of having to do a whole bunch of repetitive cuts. Now, to get to the center of the board, I measure from this way in and make a mark, this way in and make a mark, and then I cut so I'm right through the middle. Now, again, we have our lovely um, shadow line there. So line the shadow line up, make a cut, and you're good to go. Uh, let me get these all done, and we'll see how they uh, sort of all look when it's on the posts. Look at that. Just enough space for five three-quarter inch fence boards. Love it. Okay, let's put stuff together. So this is a real test for the mic because it's a bit windy out here. Hopefully you guys don't have any uh, wind noise. I have a bit of a dead cat thing on it or whatever it is, dead mouse. For this, well, all I've done is basically got this one square using my big old square, making sure that it kind of lines up there. Nice and even from this way all the way in. And I measured it in six inches from the edge. Arbitrary number, why use six, I don't know. I flipped it over, basically got this screw in, measured from uh, with the square to make sure it was lined up nicely. And then did another check of this to there. And from there, to the corner and that corner to that corner. Everything's lined up and square as possible. There is just a wee bit of a twist in these uh, four by fours. They've been sitting outside for a little while and well, that's what wood does, especially out here. Hopefully it won't look too goofy, but we're gonna get these all done up. I'm gonna give a little bit of a space in between each board. I'll have to go get a spacer so I make it equal each time. And then all it is is just, you just fill that in I'm hoping I have enough. I'm actually going to put one at the far end and then measure the distance. Silly math, and that'll give me my uh, spacing in between each board. So uh, let me get that finished up for you, and I'll show you what I came up with. Oh, uh, yeah, here's the ends as well. This is what's going to sit on the 6x6 six six there, so that looks really good. It's going to hunker in nice and be level so I don't have to lift the lawnmower up and stuff when I'm going over. Okay, so with a very calculated number, oh, this doesn't work out. It works out to 0 0.622 of an inch between each thing, which is not even close to a normal fraction. So I just carefully uh, calibrated my eyeball and went, man, close enough. Nobody's gonna see it. I'm the only one who's gonna be walking on it. 
I don't think anybody's going to have any issues with that. I did get this one and the bottom one lined up. And then I put a straight edge in between. Uh, as per my previous video, we figured out how accurate this level is and it's close enough for hand grenades and horseshoes. So for this particular instance, I'm just lining the boards up with the uh, edge of the level and just screwing them down. So a few more to go, I'll show you how it goes. Same with this, you know, I'm just kind of going uh, with my calibrated eyeball. See how that holds out. Oh yeah, there's a wee bit of a twist there. I'm hoping those gravity clamps are gonna take care of that for me. If you've never experienced a gravity clamp, just put something down on the ground and hope gravity clamps it flat. So that's what I use them for. Okay, so uh, the calibrated eyeball did okay. Yeah, a few not perfect, but I really wasn't worried about trying to get them all perfectly lined up. Oh, I gotta sink that one down a little bit more. Okay, so I'm gonna get some help from the family. We're gonna get this in place and let's see how it looks compared to some old crate bits. Well, so much for my new microphone. You'll probably hear all the wind blowing now. It got ripped off when I was trying to install this. It got caught. Oh, gosh. Okay, so it's a twisted bridge to nowhere. But it's going to make life a lot simpler when I'm going to try and mow that stuff over there. So hopefully you found this a little bit interesting. I think here I'm going to make another little part and... Uh, Maybe just bridge some of this so it's easier to get the mower up and over. That's another day's project. And that's another uh, set of uh, fence board. Probably one or two. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Have a great day, everybody. Uh, I guess it's trying to figure out what to do with the microphone now. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah, go out, make a mess. Have some fun so that when all the frustrating things in life hit you, you can take a deep breath and just keep going.